Are you missing fairways? Are your guys out driving you? Has something happened where that driver just doesn't get to work for you? Let's talk about what we can offer at Second Swing. Guys, welcome to the tour van. I'm Danny Farrell, partnered by uh, the legend, Larry Bobka. Today, we're gonna be exploring one of the most common questions we get asked, right? Yep. When to change out the big stick? Well, if it's got a wood head on it, I would change it That's right away. Absolutely. Uh, right. Um, no, I mean, you know, there's there's been so many changes in technology and, you know, we, we have a couple Titleist drivers here, which I can speak to yeah. since I spend so much time there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 909 for years, uh, Titleist, those, those, that 09 meant the year that driver was brought out. Okay. So this is from 2009. Okay. Which, uh, I'm not good at math, but that that's a few years ago. <laughs> okay. But... You know, the question always becomes when somebody, why, why would I change? Right. You know, let's, let's kind of just look at the characteristics first and sure. then we can kind of talk about okay. it. You know, um, here's a driver. You know, it's, a, it's around 460 cc's. That's been the max for quite a few years. Yep. Um, no adjustability. Oh, so okay. that's changed. Okay. Yep, that's no adjustability. One. So the ability to really... Um, make the ball flight, tailor the ball flight for your shot is not in this driver, mm -hmm. okay? If we look on the bottom, uh, we just have a back weight here, okay. which the back weight was used to bring the weight back, but it was also to finish off the swing weight of the driver. Sure. Okay. okay. So really, if you look at it, there's, it's, a, it's a good driver. It was a great driver at the time, mm -hmm. but technology has changed. Absolutely. Let's take a look at a modern yeah. driver. So you brought up the old number one on the reason why, adjustability. There's nothing there. Now we go into the, the modern tech from 2021, the TSI-3. So cosmetically, a lot's changed here, yep. right? So now we go from having no adjustability to 16 variations just in the hosel settings alone. Correct. To help get a player into the middle of the face, maximize that ball speed, and still loaded with a lot of forgiveness in here, but that's only phase one, right. just the adjustability. Now we go into the second part where we have adjustable weights to also help with altering the ball flight or tailoring that for a player and launch and spin characteristics. So a lot has changed. Even the faces on these have changed a Absolutely. bit now too. Right? Yep. So players come in a lot of times they say the face is dead yep. on my driver now. I feel like I'm not getting that kind of pop yep. that I used to. Yep. Right? That's the perfect time to come in. That's number two probably on the list. One, adjustability. Two, if it kind of loses that pop. The other thing I want to kind of talk about is, you know, things happen in life. Yep. Right? Where we get a little bit slower or we get a little bit faster or we go through a swing change seeing a, a club doctor. You might be getting faster, I'm getting slower, you know. <laughs> From this driver to that driver, it's been a long time in life. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So things change in the driver. But, you know, I, I hear all the time, I'm still finding fairways with this driver, so absolutely. why would I change that if I'm finding fairways? Well, let's talk about the technology changes. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, so if we look at the face, mm -hmm. you know, we've got a different, Titleist has found a different material. In fact, they're using a material, a titanium that's never been used before. Aerograde. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up, used up in space. Yeah. The construction of these drivers is different. You yeah. can't see it. I mean, it's a driver head. You think, okay, well, it looks. But the way the driver is constructed now is totally different, which yeah. allows manufacturers, Titleist, Callaway, TaylorMade, Ping, to make more adjustments to the center of gravity, yep. the speed of the driver. Okay, yep. well, if, if throw that face up there. So sure. now, okay, COR, or how fast it is off the face, right. okay? Right. These are still gonna be pretty close right off that center. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the problem is because the engineers are better now, center of gravities have moved back, this 
that driver is far better off mishits Absolutely. than this driver is. Yes. So, hey, I hit this in the center of the face. I'm driving in pretty good. You know what? For Saturday's round, it works great. Well, you know, maybe you, maybe you get some bad chicken or you stayed out a little bit too late <laughs> on Sunday. You're not feeling quite as good, and all of a sudden you can't hit the center of the face, and you're just right. driving in terrible. Right. Because it's not forgiving. Let's talk about adjustability. Sure. Hey, you know, you bring this driver into us and say, well, you know, it was working good for a while. It's not working good right now. I don't know if the shaft's right for me. Well, we can take a whole bunch of shafts and take them in and out yes. and try them. Okay? Sure. Yeah. I don't Absolutely. have that option here. Years and years, part of the reason that adjustability came about was we used to take these drivers on tour. And a player would say, man, my, my, my 909, nine and a half slime, just a little high. Can you, can you bend it a little bit? Mm. So we would take it inside the tour van, put it inside a mold, heat this up a little bit, and pray that it didn't break. <laughs> Bending titanium for a living is not recommended, okay? And there's nothing worse than walking out on to the practice range at a tour event and going, hey, your new driver will be ready in 20 minutes because your old one just broke. Right. right. So the adjustability really helps as far as fine tuning it. Yes. What's the other thing that we didn't talk about too is, hey, this is like anything else. It wears out. Mm -hmm. These faces tend to flatten. They, they tend to flatten. They tend to crack. Yeah. Okay. The construction on this is nowhere near as good as the construction on that True. face. True. Okay. So yeah. again, the manufacturing's gotten better. Yeah. And I think one other huge, huge thing we, we haven't touched on yet is if you've never been fit before for a driver. True. Right? Yep. Without having a launch monitor like TrackMan you know, behind you, you have no idea how you're spinning it, yep. the characteristics of that ball flight. Who knows how many yards we can get if we're in the wrong loft well, for yeah. a player, wrong shaft for a player. Absolutely. I mean, you know, when I worked on tour for Titleist, I mean, we had bags and bags full of these drivers right. built with the shaft, and you would work with players, and you could grab and do it. Well. The average player doesn't have that doesn't have that luxury back then. Yeah. So you know, hey, we're going to do the best we can. We got a few different shafts, we got a few different lofts, and we're going to try to we're going to try to fit you with a, you know with a D2 or a D3 version. Mm -hmm. Now the average player actually gets a fitting just as good, or maybe even better than a tour player gets, right. because there's so many different there's so many different options to try yeah. plus we're just talking about titles exactly yeah. you know a titleist staff player has to play a titleist driver yep. you know a consumer that comes in here to get fit he's got an option to play whatever driver is available that's best for him Absolutely. i mean how how good is it to be able to go i mean one of the great things about working at second swing was you know i work for i work for wilson and i work for titleist and you know you're you're you hey you're fitting people and you're working with people with the clubs you have right one brand i mean i yeah. walked in here and it's like oh my gosh i got them all now absolutely it's like a kid in a candy store yeah absolutely and that's why you know a consumer just i mean this day and age i'm going to tell you right now if you don't get fit for your golf clubs and you love the game you're absolutely crazy 100 yeah, percent. so you're missing out big you're time. missing out and you're missing out on technology even if you don't want to spend you know a, on a new driver right but move up five years in technology yeah you know absolutely. move into some adjustability move yes. into an area where you can try something better and say okay you know what this it's time for this to go away but i don't have to make the 500 dollars commitment i right. can make a 250 or 300 dollars commitment yes and you're going to get a better performing driver there's no doubt about it absolutely so guys if you like what you heard here hit that like button subscribe to the channel and we'd love to hear the comments on how many yards you've gained by coming in to get fit at Second Swing. Thanks, guys.